Anyway, uh, see, I got asked to go to Los Angeles to play a convention. And the people asked me how much money did I want to play the convention, to sing a couple songs. And I, I said, how much money do I want? I said, um, $10,000. They said, how's 500? <laughs> Fine. All right, so I lowered my fee to 7,500. We're obviously going to be negotiating. Always start a little high, you know. Always come down. 7,500, they, they came right back with 500. <laughs> All right, so I made my final offer, and I mean my final offer of $5,000. And they made their final offer of $500. All right, so I accepted for $500. Went got on the plane, and I sat on the plane, and they had given me a first-class ticket. New York to LA, that's nice, that's a little benefit. I sat there, and a little white-haired gentleman walked on the plane and sat right down next to me. Thank you. Uh, don't give it away. And he sat down right next to me, and this is for real, I mean, this is one of the most famous people in the world at that time. There was sitting right next to me in first class. So, uh, I tried not to, uh, you know, make a fuss, and, well, this is what happened. True story. Take my seat aboard the plane, and what is this I see? Leonard Bernstein comes aboard and sits right next to me. First class New York to LA, some things just work out right. I'll be sitting next to Leonard Bernstein this whole night. Maybe I should just act like I do not recognize him. Be real cool and do my best not to antagonize him. Now we're rolling down the runway, next stop is L.A. I am nonchalant like I ride next to Lenny every day. <laughs> Naturally, I turn to him against my own advice. Introduce myself and find that Lenny's very nice. So we start to chat and drink and talk about our lives. We talk about our children and our wives. What a lovely fellow, what a lucky day, me and Lenny side by side, New York too. Hey. Soon we're chatting, drinking, talking like the very best of pals, talking music, life, art, death, root canals. Now he's interrupting me, but really that's okay. Cause he's a lovely fellow, and he's got a lot to say. I recite some songs I wrote, he recites them back. For poetry and music, he seems to have a knack. He tells me that his new show closed, and now he's feeling beat. And he's not used to dealing with defeat. Side by side, New York to L.A. the London Times crossword, ten minutes and he's through. That's the puzzle with his pen. I do not have a clue. What an intellectual, but a warm and friendly guy. We talk about the world below as we sail through the sky. Finally, I feel the airplane starting to descend. And I know this lovely day is coming to an end. Put our trays and seat backs up just like you're supposed to do. Land you bid my friend a fond adieu. Oh, what a lovely fellow. What a lucky day. Me and Lenny side by side, New York to LA. What a lovely fellow, though. Really, I must say, I've not heard from Lenny since I left him in LA. <laughs> Not a goddamn word from me that I should say that to L.A. In 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 L.A. In